In this lecture, we explain some of the fundamental properties of the dynamic model for n degree of freedom robot manipulators. In the previous video, we showed how to obtain the dynamic model of an n degree of freedom robot manipulator. We showed that the dynamic model can be written as n of q q double dot plus c of q and q dot times q dot plus g of q equals tau, where q is the vector of joint coordinates, n of q is the inertia matrix, c of q and q dot times q dot is the vector of Coriolis and centrifugal forces, g of q is the vector of gravity forces, and finally, tau is the vector of joint torques. Due to the complexity and nonlinearity of the dynamic equation, we are interested to learn more about the properties of this equation and the terms which constitute it. These properties are very important in the design and analysis of control systems for robot manipulators. We'll only explain those properties that are relevant to the control design and stability analysis using Lyapunov stability theorem. These properties include properties of the inertia matrix M, properties of the centrifugal and Coriolis forces matrix C, and the properties of the gravitational forces and torques vector G. Let's start with the inertia matrix M. An important property of this matrix is that it's symmetric and positive definite. Obviously, a matrix is symmetric if it's equal to its transpose. For example, this matrix is a 3 by 3 symmetric matrix. A square matrix with real entries is said to be positive definite if all its eigenvalues have positive real parts. This is an interesting property for the inertia matrix as its eigenvalues are functions of the joint coordinates vector q. And the property says that for any vector q, the eigenvalues of the inertia matrix have positive real parts. In other words, it doesn't matter what the configuration of the robot is. It always holds that the inertia matrix M is positive definite. This property is frequently used in the stability analysis using Lyapunov stability theory. You will see in future lectures that we will use a Lyapunov function that contains the term Q dot transpose M of Q times Q dots. Note that this function is positive definite in Q dots, which means that it's only zero when the vector Q dot is zero and is positive for all other Q dots. This is because the matrix M is symmetric and positive definite. Also notice that V of Q and Q dot equals K of Q and Q dots, where the function K is the kinetic energy function of the robots. See the video on robot manipulator dynamics for more information about this. The second property of the inertia matrix is also related to its positive definite property. We know from the rayleigh ritz inequality that for a square matrix M, this inequality holds, where lambda mean of M is the minimum eigenvalue of the matrix M, lambda max of M is its maximum eigenvalue, and the matrix I denotes the identity matrix. Note that in this inequality, lambda mean and lambda max of M are both functions of the vector Q. The second property of M is that there exists a real positive number alpha, which is independent of Q, such that alpha I is less than or equal to M of Q. If a robot has only revolute joints, then there exists a positive constant beta, such that M of Q is also less than or equal to beta I. This part of the inequality only holds for robots with revolute joints. But the first part holds for robots with revolute or prismatic joints. Let's now discuss the properties of the centrifugal and Coriolis forces matrix C. The first property of C is that for a given manipulator, the matrix C may not be unique, 
but the vector CQ dot is unique. For example, in the dynamic model we obtained for a two degree of freedom planar robots in the dynamics of robotic manipulators lecture, we show that the vector CQ dot is in this form. We now want to write this vector as a product of a matrix C, which is a function of Q and Q dots, and the vector Q dots. One possible choice of matrix C is shown here. However, it's also possible to choose a different matrix C, such as for example this matrix. Now the question is, which of these matrices should be chosen? Is there any preference among all possible options for matrix C? The answer is that they are all acceptable as the product of the matrix C and the vector Q dot is unique. However, we choose a matrix C that has a nice property. The property is that for a particular choice of C, which is always possible, the matrix M dot minus 2C is skew-symmetric. Remember that a square matrix is a skew symmetric if it's equal to the negative of its transpose. For example, this matrix A is a 3 by 3 skew symmetric matrix. Notice that the diagonal entries of a skew symmetric matrix are always zero. If a matrix A is a skew symmetric, then Z transpose AZ is zero for any vector Z. This can be proved using the definition of skew symmetric matrices. The third and the final property that we explained for matrix C only holds for robots with revolute joints. For such robots, there exists a positive constant Kc such that the norm of the vector of centrifugal and Coriolis forces is less than or equal to Kc times the norm of Q dot squared. We now explain two properties of gravitational torques vector G. Both of these properties hold for robots having only revolute joints. The first property is that the gravity vector is bounded, that is, there exists a constant K such that the norm of G is less than or equal to K for all vectors Q. The second property is that the vector G is Lipschitz, that is, there exists a positive constant Kg, such that the norm of G of X minus G of Y is less than or equal to Kg times the norm of X minus Y, and this inequality holds for all vectors X and Y. Let's now summarize the properties we learn in this video. The boundedness of the inertia matrix and also the boundedness of the norm of the vector CQ dots and the vector G only hold for manipulators with revolute joints. These properties are very useful as they allow us to establish upper bounds on the nonlinearities of the dynamic model. We will see in future lectures that several control schemes require knowledge of such upper bounds. The positive definiteness of the inertia matrix and the skew symmetric property of M dot minus 2C are extensively used in the stability analysis of the control systems applied to robotic manipulators. There is another property which is called the linearity in the dynamic parameters property that's essential in the development of adaptive controllers and also in identification of dynamic parameters. This property will be explained in the adaptive control video.